everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War 2 with this Polish-Lithuanian campaign. Last time around, I thought that I would do the Italian campaign in one video. Unfortunately, I was held up quite a lot at Venice. That battle took about 25 minutes, and then I realized I was going to run into a larger battle going on Rome, so I decided to skip that. Meanwhile, then, as we have prepared to go against the big full stack in Rome, um, there's been a few changes as it's taken a while. First and foremost, the Austrians are no longer in this region, more than attacking the port here. Um, they have actually moved down and attacked Naples. So most of their army is now in Naples. And then they also decided to declare war on the Genoese, which didn't go too well for them, but they burned their way through a bit of the landscape here, making their way towards Genoa. So their army is weakened, so Rome should fall pretty easily, and then we'll see what happens with Naples. I'm not going to go ahead and say that I'm going to do the entire um, Italian campaign in one turn, because uh, I might just jinx myself. Um, in other news, I was building a fleet that I was going to crush the Ottoman Navy with, and I decided to go for the sort of budget option, uh, where I went for the War Galleons. It's the ship that has the most guns currently available to me, uh, or at the time, I should say, and it's also had the highest hull strength. Uh, the weakness lay in uh, maneuverability. But all of it was lies, because it cannot stand up to the 54-gun ship. Even though it has higher hull strength, and technically, um, according to the stats anyways, higher firepower. They got obliterated uh, by the 54-gun ships, and case in point, here are my war galleons. All captured by the Ottoman fleet. Um, we did manage to do quite a bit of damage on them, as you can see here, uh, in terms of crew for all these ships. Um, but I am building now a 54-gun fleet of my own um, that will sure rival these and will sink the entire lot of it. And hopefully maybe even recapture some of these war galleons so I can sell them for scraps. So that's what's going on there. I have now been able to get the Grand Arsenal, or Great Arsenal, so we are recruiting new guns. So we will have a horse artillery that's not 6 pounders, but instead 24 pounder heavy horse guard artillery. And then also 32 pounder heavy horse howitzers that are being recruited here. I'm thinking that before I go ahead and take uh, Lempix army, against the Ottomans, I'm going to stock up on just an absolute buttload of artillery, so I can blow most of these troops away. Um, especially since um, the Ottomans... No, they don't actually have that many hand waters in this army. Um, but they have a lot of troops, and so I feel like if I have any chance cutting through all this crap, uh, I'm going to have to use a lot of artillery. So we're building up quite the um, arsenal to blast. We need to blast through the wars of Constantinople as well, so we're probably going to need a lot of artillery. And that's about it for everything. I think I've gone through everything. The year is 1733, and it's time for us to liberate Rome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and attack Rome. The lines of battle stretches far and wide across the battlefield as we cover the entire thing. As you can see, I've done quite the extensive artillery bombardment of the enemy position before we go ahead and advance. And uh, as of right now, the enemy is holding their position. We're going to uh, start our advance by attacking um, from the right here. 
from the high hill with the Hungarian Brigade. Uh, rather than try and start conflict throughout the line, we're going to focus in on one side and we're going to see how that goes. Uh, currently, my artillery barrage has been super effective. The enemies has not been. They've taken 15 people out of the 4th Regiment with the mortar, and that's about it. I'm... I've probably killed quite a few hundred of theirs. So the Hungarian Brigade will be supported by the two horse artilleries plus the Hussars. The ones without wings. Oh, the it's actually impassable terrain here. I guess the Hussars will set up here to start with. Uh, the Hungarians will move and then sweep down on these four. Um, notably... They have um, guards, so, um, well, they have guards, they have pikes, pikes not that dangerous. Uh, they've got a new regiment that we haven't seen before, a grenadier regiment. And then all the way out here they've got Jaegers, another regiment that we haven't seen before. These guys could be deadly together with the guards and the grenadiers, so uh, quite a difficult task. Uh, currently, my main battery is bombarding this pike square, uh, taking quite the chunks out of that one. Uh, just this recent barrage have taken out 60 out of this pike square. Pretty thick formation. Um, also hit the uh, unit right by its side. Right, let's see. The guns are ready to move. Now I'm thinking, as we start the attack here, the enemy is probably going to uh, move more units from this side to engage us. So I'm thinking to start off, we'll put the horse artillery right here. And then I want to see if maybe I can get... I would like to have the Hungarian units move beside this and not like that. But like this. Ah, they're moving. It's the Jaegers that are afoot, and what looks like pikemen. I'm gonna spread this unit out quickly, and we're gonna order the rest of them to quickly take the positions. The um, cavalry will take their positions right here, as the enemy is now mobilizing their entire brigade here. We're gonna then switch the heavy artillery to focus in, on the troops that are now moving forward. I'm gonna tell the Hussars as well to hold fire. Most of the time they just, just shoot each other rather than the enemy. Right, we've got artillery coming in. Jaegers seem to be able to fire at an astonishing range if they're able to hold here. Pike unit get hit hard. Um, I don't think we'll be able to stop it before they reach the my guns, so I'll have to pull them back, unfortunately. Or maybe not. God damn it, the AI is so indecisive in their movements. I'm gonna send forwards one of the hussars. And see if we can get more or less a point-blank range shot off of these pikemen as they're uh, basically running away. I order them to fire. Pretty good hit. Since they're facing the wrong way, oh now we got shot by our own, I feel like I could probably get a cheeky charge in. And I did! And he broke uh, the unit. I'm gonna send in the other two to deal with the enemy's hussars, which are now being mobilized. Also, we probably need to go after the Jaegers. Actually, the Jaegers are, are more important to go after here. Um, batteries should deploy. As I imagine, more units are coming in. First uh, hussar was actually broken by that forced away. Jaegers though don't stand much of a chance against the fire from or against the swords, the slash of the saber. 
Let's redirect artillery fire towards these. As these now advance, I'm not too concerned as... What are you doing? You, you're screwed up. For some reason. What if I order them to attack? Come on, deploy your bloody guns, damn you. Right, we managed to get the Jaegers and the cavalry gone. I want to ride back here through these units and see if I cannot get them to uh, fix themselves. Maybe, just maybe that will work. Right, so we've got... Uh, the Grenadiers did a number on my Hungarians, but my Hungarians had a good position and they were firing all already from the start. Uh, currently all my units here, all the Hungarian Brigade is focusing down on the guards. Looks like this entire brigade is moving down. You know what, I'm gonna do this then. No? God damn it, they do not want to do anything. Right, fine, fire at will. We got plenty of cannon shot going through and now we're gonna hit them with a bit of canister as well. Maybe as uh, it looks like we're about to commit friendly fire here by this gun that we might just force this uh, unit to uh, move into action. It's matchlock. We've got some pikes in there. I'm gonna redirect uh, the fifth Hungarian unit to go ahead and join in this fight. Got some units to rally. I'm gonna redirect the second one as well. The third will gain ground on the guards and then we'll extend the line for the fourth. Alright, I want you to actually focus in your fire over here. There's only a hundred... the pikemen are broken. So the Hussars will make their advance. Actually, you will fire on the... These guys are also breaking. Fire on the Grenadiers then. Alright, I'm ordering you to fire. And then doing a full-on head-on charge. Oh, the uh, main battery is now firing. I'm going to redirect them before they accidentally shoot some of my own men here. You will continue to fire in this angle. And the Hussars broke those part of the line, which is wonderful. Hussars will hold fire at this point. Uh, the enemy Grenadiers are following the Hussars. Let's go for the bloody mortar. Silence that one once and for all. This one needs to go, so once the Hussars have broken through here... Oh shit, I forgot. I was firing my guns on them. Um, aim for the pikes, which are now formed square. Wonderful. Once the Hussars are done with this, they should double back, go back and see if they can't get the guards. We can dislodge them and free up the entirety of the um, brigade. There's 16 men left, I'm sure if we just run through, they'll go ahead and uh, run away. Right, focus, fire here now. I want to see if we're, uh, are we shooting into the square? Imagine standing and seeing the shots bounce before you and then bouncing above you. Just waiting for one to rip through the line. Take your friends and comrades with it. Or at least part of them. Like an arm and a leg. This is what's going on. And maybe, just maybe I should... God damn it. I guess um, the only way we'll probably be able to get this one to move is to actually destroy this gun carriage. Which is unnecessary, I would say. 
It's kind of an unnecessary measurement to take. As I'm sure I will win the battle without it, but... I'd probably win it faster with it. Canister continues to rip through the third Grenadiers. And now we'll get the entire Hungarian Brigade to come down the mountainside. And set up against uh, the rest of the enemy army. Looks like the Pike Square is on the move. No, it's still holding. It's still sitting out there. Alright, the enemy unit was sent away. As long as they leave the field, there's no problem, as uh, this is a town battle, which means that every troop seen here will be dead by the end of it anyways. Looks like we're about to uh, completely get rid of the Grenadiers, which is good. And they're drawing more of this. This entire side has now gone in to this conflict right here. It might be time to start the advance of the rest of the brigades. So far all we have used is the um, light hussars, uh, the horse artillery. You know what, we might need some aid of the main guns rather than firing on the pike square which I'm sure gonna break by a volley or two. It might be better to start firing into this mess. and aid the um, Hungarian Brigade It's in its struggle. Right. I want the Hussars to set up here. Most of this is, yeah, I think we should start the rest of the attack now. Start with the Grenadiers. Should advance to about here. With the Slovenians advancing to about here, and then the meat and potato line infantry to advance to about here. Or at least for the start, I'm sure I'm gonna have to stop them in uh, in their tracks as the enemy moves forward to meet us. I'm surprised the Grenadier Regiment is still moving around out there. Right now, this is the main point of the enemy. I will go ahead and hold and start to move these guns. You will turn and these two will follow. Oh, they've formed a square, a sneaky square. What if I move up the Hazars in long lines and then set them to fire from the back there? As soon as they start to break the square, we will charge. Which is uh, apparently just by the sight of the Hazars arriving. Yes, only just by the sight of them. Hold, and you will set up there. Uh, maybe you can ride through and aid your comrades. As far as I can see, there's no movements out here. I, I think we're done here. Have the Hazars charge in. At the same time, the two Hungarian units will advance. Let's see, I moved through, seem to have changed nothing for this regiment. Uh, Horse-drawn artillery will now join in. Um, the main attack. Okay, so they are sending forwards units. So I will... You know what? Well, I will just speed them up to get into position quicker. Their cavalry has moved forward. Probably actually shooting at my winged hussars. So I will call in their attack. Um, otherwise, they're not moving forwards that hard, so the Grandiers will continue. Um, the Fry Corps is dealing with some garrison line infantry, some volunteers, and a pike regiment coming in here. Uh, main artillery will focus in on the grenadiers over here. Let's go ahead and see. Both of the hussars still on the field. I will order them actually to move 
towards the stars that are way over there. And then we'll continue the advance of the Hungarian Brigade. There's only a square forming some kind of rear, rear action to stop us from moving forward. But I will move with great speed to deal with them. I'm thinking if I order them to fire and they arrive kind of from different angles like this, just a fire from these two hussars will be enough to break that unit. Um, these guys are broken. Alright, continue forwards here. I'm thinking I can actually set up the horse-drawn artillery somewhere around here. It will be able to fire up the length of the line. Okay, I'm gonna have to um, do a massive attack here because I've completely missed out on any, everything. Um, Let's have the Grenadier Brigade turn to face these. And we'll have these two of the Freikor move forward. You can move here to support this, but I'm thinking the cavalry um, on its own will be able to deal with this. The pike was broken. You will continue through. Uh, my Hussars was actually broken. They did not, in fact, succeed in that fight. Um, the artillery is firing a little bit too close to my own line, so I will fire on units further back. Oh crap. Ooh, that was a nasty shot to my Grenadiers. Point blank range. Grenadiers here, hurry forward. Winged Hussars proceed to um, chase down the enemy troops. They've um, not lost enough men, I would say. They could very well rally. Forming square here was the dumbest thing I could have done. Uh, this unit, Holt, has lost a hundred men due to the, um, the fire of the enemy there. Right, set up the horse artillery. It's going to be a close one because this pike unit is really close. Oh, my hussars are back, in fact. Let's hurry. Get into position. Fire on the pikes. Or maybe I can get the Hazards here quick enough to deal with them. God damn it, fire on these instead then. They've moved out of line for the guns to be uh, properly effective. Could probably get a Hungarian up here to deal with them. That's what we want to see. And then I'm going to add on by having the main battery fire on them. They're attacking. I like how the AI actually went around to attack them from the back. But the units, that pike unit's basically spent and it's not even going to be able to uh, break down that unit. Let's get the uh, winged hussars back in order. Okay, looks like the, um, as much as I wanted, the... Uh, battery to deal with it on its own, I don't think that's going to happen. Let's organize the Hungarians, get rid of the pikes, get these guys back on the guns. We'll get the Hungarians to stretch out here. Oh, look at that. Lucky I was looking at this direction, otherwise the um, Austrian Hussars would have probably broken that unit. Fired the guards right in the center of their unit. And then we might have to redirect this bombardment to hit somewhere around there instead. Actually, this one 
has suffered very little casualty. Aim for that one instead. Alright, the canister is starting to roll in. Not to the extent that I want to, as even though we have plenty of guns manned, it seems like it's only one gun that is actually firing. Oh, our reinforcements are coming in. I will turn one of the Hungarians around together with the uh, two Hussars who are facing that way. Enough tomfoolering now. Let's get rid of all of these. I feel like it's high time. Grenadiers, advance. Slovenians. Advance. It is Slovenians, right? Slavonians. Right. One has always broken. And now we're getting attacked from the back by uh, the reinforcement hussars. The troop is organized into square, but I'm I don't think we will be using the uh, the light hussar any longer. Oh, the gun. Wait, what was that? What's this? Horse artillery. Oh, the carriages of the horse artillery. That's what's moving out there. Right, the winged hussars dealt with that. Can they move through and deal with these? And can we get an end to this battle? I would say, though, at this point, the enemy being totally surrounded with only a few units, I would be confident enough to, god damn it, hold fire. Right. I would be confident enough to say that I have definitely won the fight. That was um, unnecessarily high amount of friendly fire. I guess I'm tired now early in the morning. Let's see if we can't get this one to uh, start routing beforehand. But there, I, I, we go, there we go, it's breaking. We do have one unit out there, but I'm not gonna bother with extending the video just to uh, deal with that one. So here we go. We've got victory. Oh shit. They... They always leave those nasty bombs for me. That was devastating to the winged hussars. God damn it. That does not bode well for the next battle.
And here's the result of the battle. Only 51 men of the enemy remains as their forces retreat from the city. We deployed about similar troops. They deployed six men more than us. So it's not that big of a difference, although obviously my men are more experienced. I lost 1,300 men when the enemy killed 1,100 roughly, so about 200 friendly fires, which surprisingly wasn't that bad given the situation or the kills we saw. Um, though the, the winged hussars suffered heavy casualties due to that last bomb there. I don't know, because they're, they're down to, normally the unit is, what, 150. I'm down to only 150 at this point, where I'd normally have 450 winged hussars at full strength, I believe. Or are they 125? Um, not entirely sure. Horse artillery is the one that killed the most. Almost 500, followed by the winged hussars, followed by hussars, and one of the Hungarian mercenaries. And you can go through here and see um, who killed the rest. Even the general is awarded a few kills. Uh, I guess these were the, the one unit that uh, was allowed to uh, escape. We lost 59 men somehow to that. Crazy. Um... And for just that bit, he got the drill master. I don't get this, the ga the train gain stuff, because normally I get for outer, uh, like you always sort of get those for outer souls for the mi minor battles. Jesus Christ, that's going to be expensive to um, rebuild. Luckily for me, I don't have to, um, as that's not the plan to go ahead and hold on to that we're just gonna um, keep marching so I'm gonna go ahead and infiltrate this more successful let's go ahead and see what they have a lot of the units are broken up but they also have um, quite a few units that are at strength interesting to see what their units actually have in terms of they have a lot of cavalry in this one and fixed cannons that will actually be able to return fire on us um, not a lot of great units overall if I strike here we will have uh, completely gotten rid of them so that will what we're going to do in terms of, I have no intention of holding on to this. The only thing I might do is actually burn down the tenant's farm and build an actual useful building here for the Pope. Um, with that, let's go ahead and, and turn and see how the Austrians respond to this. And the General Wenzel Stiegelmeier. Okay, so I made a pretty big mistake. Uh, I started off this battle... Started off with cannon bombardment, the battle crashed, I decided, pfft, okay, I'll take a b bit of a break, I went out, I switched tower tires on my car to winter tires, I came back in, restarted, started up the battle, did the commentary, and so on, went on, and then I realized, wait a minute, I never started the recording, so, we missed this battle, but that might be just as well as, uh, I mean, it was nothing really special about it compared to like it was basically Rome, just fewer men in the uh, in the enemy army. Anyways, we've destroyed the Austrians. I'm thinking I'm gonna allow both of these regions to rebel, and we might have the Kingdom of Naples come up through here, and then obviously we get the Romans here. Um, so we get both of these coming in, which good, because I don't want to hold on to this. I'm just going to leave it as it is, and we're going to try and set up trade with these two kingdoms instead, as I'm no interest in um, attacking anymore here. The only good thing I guess came from this was the fact that hopefully I have a bit better relationship with the Italian states, and uh, with the fact that the... Um, What's it called? 
the Austrians took out Naples means that Naples is no longer in control uh, by the Spanish. So we reduced Spanish control in the area. Not that that was a major thing either way. It's not really going to affect us um, in any great sh form. But uh, there we go. For the next one, we will have the Battle of Constantinople. There will be so many bloody Ottomans in this battle that hopefully, by the point, I will have uh, gathered quite the extensive artillery and will blast most of them away and then order in the infantry to clean up whatever is left after uh, the grand bombardment. Let's see, where are my artillery? They should be on the way. There they are. Um, take quite a while to move down here. Hopefully we'll be able to recruit these cannons closer, which actually is not very likely. But um, there we have uh, that. So for the next one, we'll be focusing on dealing with the Ottomans, and kicking them out of the Europe and maybe just maybe I'll include then a mighty naval battle where I will reclaim all the war galleons and that's that for this episode so I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one bye